is Valerie again. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the step-by-step -step guide on how to start your expedite letter request and also the time frame based on my experience. <music> note that none of these are legal advice. I would recommend that you contact your immigration lawyer to seek for legal advice. These are based on my experience. So one of you guys asked me if I can do a video on just expedite letter request alone. So um, that's what we're going to talk about today. So basically, um, I'm just going to walk you through again on the process that we did, what are the things that you need to include in your letter, and also I'm going to share with you the format of the letter that we submitted, plus the supporting documents. So my case um, was DQ'd on June 3rd of 2020. After a month or so, we submitted our expedite letter request to NVC. And we got approved on August 10th of 2020. So my husband is the one that wrote the letter um, addressed to NVC. So he include the NVC case number, the petitioner name, which is your husband's name, the petitioner's date of birth, the beneficiary name, which is yourself, and the beneficiary's date of birth. So you can format it like that as the start of your letter. So the title that um, my husband put in that letter is Request for Immediate Relative Immigrant Visa Interview for Humanitarian Reasons. So it could be something else for you. Um, it could be a different title or basically it's just um, telling NBC what is exactly going on, what is your reason why you are trying to expedite this. So it's like a summary of your um, letter. Okay, so the first paragraph that we put, so this this is just a, a summary or like um, ideas in each paragraph that my husband wrote, so it's not, um, you don't have to copy this, but you can base it on whatever situations you have, so just fill in the blanks. Um, so it started as, I am writing to request an expedited visa interview for my my wife or my husband and put their name there. State the date that you got married, um, how long you have been waiting, and what is the recent or uh, um, difficult situations that you are going through being apart from each other. So you can put that on that first paragraph. Um, I know some of you probably has been waiting for like two years or so, so that's one other thing that you can put on there. Like let's say you have been waiting for two years, so you can put that on your letter. And the second paragraph that we did is we mentioned COVID situations because at that time it was um, a peak of COVID and my husband was one of the essential worker that needs to go to work despite of the pandemic and and because of that um, there's a big chance that he could get this virus because he still has to go to work and also he's working in a healthcare setting and so people that are sick comes in the store or comes in the pharmacy to pick up their prescriptions and you know who knows maybe they have COVID and so if you're there you can get it so that's one of the reasons that we put on there also um let's say if you have kids and it's been a while since your husband visited you because your husband is working or there is a situation that your partner or your husband cannot come over to see you and your kids um, then you can put that as one of the reasons all right so um one of my um so my husband's family member um was hospitalized at that time and um, that's one of the reasons that we put because it's also affecting his mental health and also having to work at that time. So we explained how important it is for me to be here in the United States to be able to support his um, family and help his family 
um, with the emergency situation and also to help uh, comfort my husband in that trial times. So that's one of the reasons that we put on there. Um, and um, that's the emergency situation that um, we specify on there. So as what I said, um, state the emergency reasons and make sure that you have supporting documents that you can get um, to support those reasons that you put. Um, so what my husband did is he um, asked his employer if they can write a letter um, stating that he has to work during that time of COVID. And so they gave him a letter stating that um, he works in the pharmacy and things like that and um, that he works um, despite of the pandemic. And also for his um, dad's situation, um, they they get uh, supporting documents from his from his doctors stating what state of um, health emergency it is and everything. So um, that's one of the um, things that we put in to support our letter. So that's that's about it. And then on the bottom you can sign it. So the basically the person that's writing this is your partner, your husband in the United States stating the emergency situation that's going on. And the, the key is really being able to explain your situation very well, very specific, um, so that so that people can see what you what your struggles and especially being apart from each other. Also, if, uh, if you have kids, you know, it's really hard um, to be apart from your partner and being um, and then raising that child by yourself. So I think that that you can definitely um, try to do a expedite letter request and just, you know, there's nothing wrong with trying. So just try and um, make sure that you have everything that you want to explain to them or to, that you want to let them know in that letter. Here's the format of our letter. So um, that's basically it. So it's pretty um, straightforward letter. So um, I would just make sure that um, somebody can, you know, like, proofread your letter after you make that and then um, make sure that you gather the documents before submitting your letter. Um, make sure you, you put your, do your Spartan documents together with your letter when you send it to NBC. So we sent it to NBC because our case at that time is already DQ'd. So it means that the next step is just the interview. So um, that's why we sent it over to them. And then just a few, maybe a week or so from sending it, then they uh, emailed us and approved the request. So um, I hope this video helped you. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <music>